फ्रेंड्स नाउ इन थर्ड वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट स्प्रिंग बैक इन बेंडिंग ऑपरेशन व्हाट इज स्प्रिंग बैक इन बेंडिंग ऑपरेशन वी डिस्कस हियर फ्रेंड्स यू नो ऑल मेटेरियल हैव अ फिनिट मॉडुलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी फ्रेंड्स यू नो ऑल मेटेरियल हैविंग देयर लिमिटेड मॉडुलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी सो इन दिस केस अ प्लास्टिक डिफॉर्मेशन इज ऑलवेज फॉलोड बाय इलास्टिक रिकवरी अपॉन रिमूवल ऑफ लोड इन बेंडिंग this recovery is known as a spring back friend this is a original bended part and after you remove load then this metal can be shifted here and this shifting is also known as a spring back because if this is a limited of any material friends in this figure this is a original bended part and this having initial bend angle and initial bend radius after spring back here this is a final bend radius here to here and this is a final bend angle rf l5 final alpha i ri this is a initial friends this spring back have been by two condition the first condition is the final bend radius is larger the final bend radius is larger than the radius to which it is bend okay now the second is the final bend angle after spring back is smaller than the angle to which it is bend now in first case if ri is less than rf then it case chances to spring back or another case if alpha i initial bend angle is greater than the final bend angle then it is also cases two chances to spring back so there are two case friends spring back factor ks is determined the bend allowances is the same before and after bending the relation obtained for pure bending for pure bending bend allowances is equals to what so for pure bending bend allowances is equals to ri initial bend radius plus thickness divided by 2 multiply bend initial bend angle and also equals to final bend radius plus thickness divided by 2 multiply final bend angle so this is a bend allowance initial and final now the spring back factor ks equals to final bend angle divided by initial bend angle and after calculating these two we got this formula okay here r i equals to initial bend radius and r f equals to final bend radius so spring back factor ks equals to r alpha f final bend angle divided by initial bend angle friends spring back factor ks only depends on r by t ratio r by t ratio okay if ks equals to 1 then it is no spring back if ks value equals to obtain by 1 ks equals to 1 then there is no spring back if ks equals to 0 then it is complete spring back that means complete elastic recovery so friends there are two case ks equals to 1 no spring back ks equals to 0 complete elastic recovery complete spring back and this happen in leaf spring or any type of spring if the if spring having ks equals to 0 now friends the amount of elastic recovery the amount of elastic recovery is depend on the stress level and the modulus of elasticity e modulus of elasticity e of the material thus elastic recovery increases with the stress level and with decreasing elastic modulus so friends from this base we calculated some formula so for so friends in no short form elastic recovery increases if stress level increases but elastic modulus is decreases then this is increases so now friends the formula is ri initial bend radius divided by final bend radius equals to 4 in simple bracket ri yield stress divided by et yield modulus divided by thickness whole q minus 3 ri y divided by et plus 
वाई वेर वाई इक्वल्स टू यूनि एक्सीएल यील्ड स्टेस ऑफ मेटेरियल एंड पॉइंट टू परसेंट ऑफसेट इज टेकन वॉट इज पॉइंट टू परसेंट ऑफसेट दिस इज अनदर टॉपिक बट हियर यू कैन टेक इट फ्रेंड्स नाउ इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी इस्टिमेट स्प्रिंग बैक ओके वी सॉल्विंग इक्वेशन ऑन द बेस ऑफ स्प्रिंग बैक फॉर्मूला सो थैंक यू